and I'm back, I'm back, and there are scopes here apparently. Um, there's a Digitech, what is it? Shall I say uh, Digitech 100 meg dual channel? I, that's a rebranded, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, Pantech or something? No idea. But uh, yeah, I ran in some, for some old uh, Tally's colleagues as well. So <laughs> yeah, he's, he's waving, but he doesn't want to be on camera. Um, so yeah, which is uh, just down a few doors down the road. Actually, I'm going to go shoot a video there after. Well, not there, but uh, to show you some old places I used to work. So yeah, stick around for that. But yeah, I'm back and uh, there is um, all the power supplies are still here. But uh, yeah, I yeah apparently all this all all this stuff is new, so I don't know what's going on here. Yep, they must have bought all this out last night, and yeah, things have changed. So it's very different. This is the uh, Friday. This is the second day. There's only one day left. I found more stuff. I've got a high definition game machine, um, like that. So I, I don't know. That's worth picking up. And there's a whole bunch of these um, USB. Scopes are only 20 megahertz jobbies, um, but I might get a bunch of those and do a giveaway. You know, kids, um, if you know, if, if anyone wants one, I might uh, might post them Australia only, um, of course. Otherwise, it's uh, it's a bit too hard. And uh, this big beast of a power supply here looks ancient, but um, I don't know. It's probably worth picking up for yeah. It's um, seen better days, but probably worth picking up for a few bucks and you see some of these are like uh, returned items there you go only one channel is working these two channels uh, tried to units same result uh, in 2019 so yeah but anyway I'm gonna pick up a few of these and uh, do giveaways because there's a few quite a few of them scattered around but uh, the uh, rack mount power amps are back same as last year I seriously did not notice that that was missing the displays <laughs> There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, otherwise I'm sure somebody would have nabbed that. You find little uh, oddball things like this. Invertech, um, it's a some sort of like system controller thing, something like that. I, <laughs> and they've got tons of these uh, PowerTech regulated 40 amp, 13.8 uh, volt switching supplies, whole pallet of them. All right, so I scored this oscilloscope at the J Car uh, dumpster warehouse <laughs> relocation sale for five bucks. Five bucks. It's a uh, two channel, 100 megahertz, one gig sample second. And uh, yes, it is like a returned, repaired something or other. What do we got? Uh, constant false reading. Constant false reading. So it's customer exchange. Um, yeah, Ross worked on it and um, did well, that's all we know. So let's take it out. Couldn't pass it up for five bucks. I mean, come on. Come on. Right. <laughs> Give me a break. I mean, I got the... What did I get? Oh, look at that. Got the probes. Um, they're... I don't know, they're worth five bucks, maybe. Um, the probes themselves. Got a power cord and everything. There's a bit of dust on her. Um, I don't recognise the layout, really. I can't say I, I do. Then again, um, I'm not sure what vintage this is, but it doesn't immediately ring a bell. I don't know. I assume like it's a hand tech, a tech way, you know, one of those... Um, one of those jobbies, but made in China. Digitech is like um, J Car's own, like in-house brand. So they've just like rebranded, rebadged. Um, oh, look, it's even got the. Look at this. It's even got the film. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. Even got the screen protector on it. What a Bobby Dazzler. So let's power it up and see what she does. It's got feet on it. There you go. Um, it's, it's got a SIG Gen, so that's pretty good. Don't know what the uh, SIG Gen specs are. i got no it up. Oh, a real clunking power switch. Oh, no. The screen's gone ski. Oh, oh. I've done my five bucks. Um, it, <laughs> I've done my five bucks. It doesn't have a... It uh, doesn't have any, like, uh, video out. So... I guess um, you could like you could replace it. I don't know. I'd have to open it up, and uh, it's even got an SD card slot. Look at that. That's interesting. Um, wow. Yeah, I don't recognise this at all. Anyway, general DSO. 
What, you, what, you can't use both at the same time? Um, yeah, I I don't know where this one's from. Oh, what, what a shame. Yeah, it's had a big impact. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is it worth uh, tearing apart and seeing if we can uh, get data on the LCD? Maybe we can replace it. Never know your luck. Well, there's inside it. Just an open frame power supply. None of that shielding rubbish. Uh, it's got DSO 5000 series power, so... Yeah, I don't know, 5000 series what? Um, anyway, it's down the bottom. Uh, what, I really want to get the, like, the whole chassis out though, to get the screen on top. Here's a quick sneak peek inside. Um, DSO 4000C, uh, 2015 vintage, so it's not hugely old. Um, I don't recognize the front panel though. And a quick Google, yep, I was right, that's a uh, hand tech jobby. So, there you go. Um, I won't go into too much more detail, just want to get the front out and uh, get the screen, pop the screen out and see if we can get a part number on that. And I don't know, maybe we can uh, get this thing back up and running and I can give it away to some youngster. Yeah, a couple of self tappers and we're in like Flynn, there's the front panel. And here's our LCD here, so I'll pop that out. If we're lucky, we'll get a part number on the bottom. Okay, does anyone recognize this? Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to go Google it, but uh, here you go, it's got one of those uh, interface boards, but um, of course the, um, so, so you know, if you could just get the LCD, you could reuse the interface board. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the part number we're after. Okay, I've asked on Twitter if anyone can identify that. I couldn't find anything myself uh, offhand, but it's a 17 inch, uh, 64,000 uh, color, uh, 800 by 480 LCD. So, you know, in theory, you could get like many different uh, replacements for it um, with a generic uh, 50 pin uh, flat flex header there. So, you know, should be able to find something equivalent, surely, even if it's not the exact one. Well, it was a dog getting this out, and I ripped off some of the numbers there, but it turns out this is um, pretty much a, a sort of, you know, de facto industry standard um, 070 uh, LCD, like a 7DD plus 1 um, type 1, and you can get these. So 7 inch, 800 by uh, 400, and even the exact same, like, thin bezel on this side, thick bezel on this side, and these are used in, like, a Raspberry Pi, uh, you know, conversions and stuff, and you can get them with the board, but we already have uh, the board, of course, and yeah, these are just um, generic. You can actually get these, like, 070s. They come with various um, prefixes, you know, and, uh, it's like, AT or something like that, and so anyway, I've ordered one on AliExpress. They're cheap as chips, um, and so that'll take some time to get here it's on the slow boat from uh, China but yeah um so I'll do a second channel video update when I get that and hopefully this thing will just um come alive but as you saw in that uh, report before it did say there was a failure um in it somehow so you know, I don't know but if you can get like one channel working it's still a useful scope so I'll keep you updated also for five bucks I did pick up this uh, high definition home game machine so <laughs> Top brand component and chipset, Lo a green low power design, hundreds of classic arcade games, super high video resolution, fluent game control experience. So it looks looks in you know <laughs> pretty new condition. Um, we've got a uh, HDMI cable, got the power adapter, got a couple of extra buttons. So I believe it's got all the buttons intact. So don't know what the deal is there, and. Uh, there she is. Oh, it's even got the plastic on the buttons. Pull on the joystick. Always pull on your joystick. There you go. It's a big standalone system. Wow, look at that. Isn't that groovy? Yeah, that's that's really something. You know, the kids can sit down and bash away. It's got the six button um, interface and it's got the joysticks and I assume it's just HDMI. Yeah, it's just, it's just power in. HDMI out. Whoa, what's going on there? There's something, something missing. Um, I, I don't know. I'm gonna power it up, find out. And this whole case uh, looks like you undo these screws and it hinges up. It's got a gigantic hinge on the back. It'll just be like a um, MAME, uh, you know, arcade board in there, just a standard arcade board with um, HDMI out. But that's, you know, that's it's 
just nice interface. I really like it. The graphics are pretty cool too. Well, nope, that seems to be a loser. Uh, the power LED on the back comes on, but I'm getting nothing out of it. Oh, uh. All right, let's crack this open. And... Ta-da! Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's why it's not working. Somebody's ripped out the entire game board. Um, yeah, I've been gypped. Um, <laughs> thankfully, I do actually have a second, um, Jammer game board in my arcade cabinet. Um, I don't think it's the, it's not the same interface, but I could, you know, like the chassis and everything's good. Like, it's all wired up and everything. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, but that's, well, there's your problem. Oh, okay, that's a little, uh, 5 uh, DC to DC USB, uh, converter to power the board, so, um, yeah, I, okay. I guess it's worth the five bucks for the metal interface and the joysticks. I don't know, are they, those joysticks any good? I mean, you know, this is obviously built down, built down to a price, I think, but, uh, yeah, they don't look like the best quality, but, but if I can get a cheap jammer board for it, it's probably worth whacking in. Although, the problem is, that's not... I don't know if that's compatible with the card edge connector, so, like, usually, like, the jammer boards are like a card edge, and my my one, um, my arcade machine has a, a, you know, the board slots into a card edge thing, but then you'd have to convert that into the pin header. Well, you could solder a header on the side of a jammer board, could you, if it's the right pin out? I, I don't know. Um, somebody will probably in the comments will be able to tell me just from looking at that. Let that be a lesson to you. Um, well, I did have a screwdriver on me. I should have opened it, right? But, I, you know, you just nab these things, throw them on the trolley and out you go. Um, but, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I found that this thing uses um, like a Pandora box uh, console thing and it looks like i did find one with a pin header here and they're like cheap as chips but you can buy these things on ali like the complete thing on aliexpress for not much um these things go for like uh, between 200 and 300 retail aussie so you know you don't want to spend too much coin on it but yeah if i can pick that up um it should should work a treat really well it turns out you can actually get a pandora's box to Gemma wiring cable harness adapter but it's the wrong idea it's designed to get the pandora so we want Gemma to pandora's box cable instead of pandora's box to Gemma. so i've got to search for that one now i'm getting there and i got one of these things for a couple of bucks um it's a hi-fi power amplifier simple it's got you know <laughs> volume knob um headphones and rca um in and uh, it's, uh, it's quite handy two times 120 watts rms um yeah let's have a look now that's the world's simplest remote control <laughs> volume and input switching um there you go it's there's no indents on that but you know like it, it's okay oh, oh i was gonna say hang on oh whoop nah, there we go this just have to be screwed in that's all right no whackers um yeah nice to have if it works nice to have a uh, just a small little um, you know, power amp for the lab. There you go, I don't mind that. That's not too shabby. That's neat and tidy. Nice little, uh, toroidal in there. And, uh, big heatsink. It's, uh, passive. No, uh, fan cooling or anything. Got four big power trannies there. And, um, uh, yeah, it looks all right. So, yeah, it is a, uh, discrete, uh, solution on that integrated, uh, rubbish. And, uh, there's the, uh, pre-drivers there. And that's pretty neat look at that nice little single-sided boards i love how they have the uh silk screen um overlay uh, copper overlay on the top so you can see it very nice but anyway that's the volume interface that look that's a neat little unit not bad score for a couple of bucks and i got four of these uh usb scopes <laughs> a couple of bucks a pop 20 megahertz uh jobbies you know they're like of course, you can get these cheap as chips these days. Um, they've got different boxes, which is interesting. So, you know, look, it's still, uh, well, it's not sealed for our protection, but uh, that one doesn't have any probes. Some of them have probes, some don't, I think. But, uh, you know, it's only 48 meg samples per second. Um, <laughs> nothing to write home about, but, uh, yeah, well, what's USB-X? Yeah, I, I, like a card edge, USB it's an expansion thing? I... I don't know USB-X, should I? Should I know USB-X? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to have a waveform gen as well. Um, meh. 
Yeah, these look identical, so it looks like they've uh, just changed the box at, uh, at some point. So anyway, I did get the uh, software with it, so, you know, software is going to be dubious quality, I'm sure. But this one did come with probes, so I know these are cheap as chips, but I don't know. If they work, I won't test them in this video, but uh, yeah, if a, uh, if a kid, you know, and give them away, some kid or something, they might find it useful.